Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a huge thrift haul of all the different home decor, homeware, and furniture items that I picked up at the thrift store recently. I did just post a thrift with me video. It was kind of like a guide to shopping your home decor at the thrift store. So I did pick up a lot of those items that day and never got a chance to share them with you. So I want to show you guys everything that I got, the plans that I have for flipping them, and I just want to encourage you guys to start your home decor shopping at the thrift store. Do not be afraid of the thrift store. There is so many amazing things in there and you really end up with super unique pieces. So I hope you guys enjoy watching today's video and I hope it inspires you to thrift some items for yourself. If you enjoy watching, definitely give it a big thumbs up before we get started and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with the largest item I picked up. I don't even know if it's going to fit in this frame, but we'll try. I picked up this gorgeous wooden cane chair guys look at this thing and look at the condition that the caning is in it's perfect and it's not broken and that's what made this find so amazing i got this chair for 7.99 like isn't that incredible you could just furnish your entire house at the thrift store and save so much money so this would look so cute as a little accent chair or sitting at a dining room table with a bunch of other like mixed chairs so caning is back in now and you can find a lot of it at the thrift store so you guys should definitely check out a thrift store near you because you might find something similar i know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be like don't paint it because you know some people don't like painting wood which i understand but i would just like it to fit the decor better so I don't know it might need to change but I think it'd be a really fun just day project yeah I just had like this dream of collecting all these different thrifted furniture pieces painting them refurbishing them and maybe like opening a little Airbnb one day and the whole thing would be thrifted how cute would that be if you guys have an opinion about what color this chair should be or what finish or what stain it should be let me know down below I would love to know your thoughts that's kind of why I haven't started yet because I want to know what you guys think what color, what style. I think it could look really, really cool. So anyways, let me know down below. The next little item I got was this cute little wooden tray. And guys, haven't you seen this at like Target or Crate and Barrel or West Elm or something? I got this one for $2.99 and I swear if you picked it up anywhere else, you'd be paying so much more. So this was such a steal. I love the shape of it. I love the finish of it, the little handles. I'm planning on using this as kind of like a tray in the bathroom when I do the bathroom makeover, which I'm working on right now, so stay tuned for that. But I want to put like my soap dispenser on there, maybe a cup for the toothbrushes so that everything stays off the counter. And that's why I love trays. They kind of allow you to layer things and have things off the main surface. It does have some little scuffs and scrapes on it, but who cares because I got it for $2.99 and I'm going to stick things on it anyways. So look past those things when you're thrifting and look at the overall beauty. Okay, now moving on to another little favorite thing to buy at the thrift store, baskets. I love baskets, you guys know that. I love to organize with them, style them, put them on walls, really use them for almost anything. A lot of you guys know how much I love baskets and you send me pictures of baskets all the time and like stores that have baskets and I'm just like, I need to go there. So anyways, I go to the thrift store to find a lot of my baskets because they are so affordable there. This is a cute little basket that I got. You might've seen this in my thrift with me video. Um, I know it's probably like a tissue paper box holder type thing, I think but I want to use it for either like makeup brushes or someone actually commented saying it could be a little plant holder, like a little plant basket. And I thought that was a really cute idea too. So now I feel like I have more than one option, but I picked this up for $1.99 from Valley Village. I love the texture that it has, the cute little size. I love that it's square and I could just see it sitting on my countertop probably in the bathroom. That's probably what I will be doing with it. So again, stay tuned for the bathroom makeover. Anyways, I'll show you guys other baskets that I got because I got quite a pile going on here. I also picked up this set of five flat baskets and I love picking these up at the thrift store again because they're very expensive in normal decor stores. So if you find them at the thrift store, definitely pick them up. I got this whole set of five in this little bag for $1.99. And you know, that's such a great deal as well. I love using these for basket walls and kind of like layering them into a cool pattern as well as using them on coffee tables, side tables to kind of like put coasters on or little trinket, or you can flip them this way and kind of lean them against the back shelving area and have books and little decor pieces styled with it. So these just add a ton of texture to your decor and your walls and really kind of warm up a space. So again, I might use this in the bathroom makeover as well because they're just the perfect 
little size for a little bathroom wall. So we'll see about that, but I really love these for so many different purposes. And if you find them at the thrift store, pick them up because they're always such a good price. I also picked up this little trash basket. I know, super random. I did not go into the thrift store looking for this, but when I saw it in perfect condition, for $2.99, I thought I might as well get it. I like styling baskets on walls and shelving and all that, but when I'm doing that, I also kind of want to balance it out onto the floor. So it could be a trash basket or it could be a plant stand or now that I'm looking at it, it actually could be a lampshade. So <laughs> there's so many things that you can make of this. I could like hang it from the ceiling. It could be a little pendant light. You never know. Hopefully you guys are not getting tired of these baskets. I have another one here, which you might've seen in my recent clean with me video. I was using this as kind of like my stair basket to hold all the things throughout the day that need to be brought upstairs. I thought it was a very nice kind of sturdy, good looking basket. So keeping it on the stairs or like near the stairs is very helpful because it helps you kind of like tidy up throughout the day and you're not holding like a million things. You can just hold your basket by its nice handles and bring things upstairs. So that's what I've been using it for. I also think it'd be great for like bed sheets or, you know, really anything, toys, cleaning supplies, whatever, baskets are the best. So I got this for $2.99 as well. You know, all these great prices for baskets. If you were to buy them anywhere else, trust me, so much more expensive. Okay, last basket, I promise. This one's more of like a woven bamboo tray. And I just thought it was super pretty. I love trays. Again, they're great for layering when you're decorating, putting on shelves, putting on walls, tables, consoles, everything really. So I know this will come in handy. I also think it could be really cool hung up on a wall like this. And you could either paint like a cool design on this in like black or like stick a mirror to it. I got this for $1.99. You guys might've seen that in my thrifting video. There was so many more there. I think there was like four other ones, but I thought I might as well start with one, see what I do with it. And if I want more, hopefully they're still there. Okay, this next thing is actually probably one of my favorites. I'm for sure doing a thrift flip on this one. This is one of those 80s lamps, guys. These are everywhere right now. This really shiny ceramic material and shape is all over the thrift stores. They have them in blue and pink and green and all these wild colors. But I seem to find a really simple looking one. But I do want to finish it off by kind of spraying it down with kind of like a matte stone looking spray paint. And then it will look a lot more modern, more like antique looking instead of like 80s. <laughs> it didn't come with a lampshade, but I already have an extra lampshade. So all I would have to do is put the lampshade on and I've got a working lamp. You also have to make sure that when you're at the thrift store, you test out the lamp to see if it works. So I put the light bulb in, tested it out at the testing station and it did work. I got this lamp for $7.99 and again, you can't find that anywhere else. So if you need lamps for a room that you're styling or you're redoing a space and looking for lighting, lighting can be very expensive and just really like add up in the budget. So if you can save money, buying lamps at the thrift store, definitely do it. A lot of the rooms that I've decorated do have thrifted lamps. They just work so well and why not, right? I also got these two wooden shelves from the thrift store, each for $2.99. What a steal, right? Like I always find shelves there. So definitely check out your thrift store if you're looking for some shelving. These already have these brackets on them and they have these little hardware pieces to hang them. I do want to refinish them because I don't think I really like the stain of this wood or the lack of stain on this wood, but I do kind of want to incorporate these into my bathroom makeover, maybe doing shelving on top of the toilet. Getting these two pieces at the thrift store definitely made that a lot easier and more affordable so I don't have to go buy shelving or anything like that or worry about cutting wood. So that definitely saved me in that department. But yeah, I feel like these would be perfect on top of the toilet, not really holding anything heavy, more like little towels or toilet paper, painting them white or even just the same color as the wall so they look kind of like built-ins. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think of that idea. I always make sure to check out the frames and the wall art selection at the thrift store. Even if you don't like what's inside of the frame, you can buy the whole thing to just use the frame and put your own print inside, that kind of thing. So always keep that in mind. You will save so much money again. Um, first, I picked up this little piece. And, you know, at first I was like, yeah, I don't really know if I like what's inside of it, but I kind of do now. I think it's really cute and just like 
vintage looking. I also just love the shape of this little frame and it comes with a little hanging piece so that just makes life easier. And this whole piece was $2.99 so that's just crazy. Little art piece for your wall for $2. And if I decide I don't like the shiny gold frame because that's what kind of ages this whole thing, I could just paint that, no big deal, and I still saved a lot of money. I feel like a piece like this would look really good on a gallery wall where you have a mixture of frames and 3D items and different shaped things that aren't so perfect looking. This would be really cute, so got this one. And then after I found this one, I found this piece because look, I feel like this is like the middle section of that one and on a gallery wall it would kind of accent each other really nicely. So this is, oh wow, I never checked out the back of this, but it says the flower of the month. February primrose and it's February now. How weird is that? Okay, weird. And I got this whole frame for $4.99 and I could put my own print inside if I don't want to use this primrose flower. But guys, don't you think these two look really cute and vintage together? I think it would look really nice. And the last thing I picked up was just this little black frame that I found and it's definitely not anything vintage or unique. It's probably actually brand new, <laughs> but I got it for $1.99 and it has a little picture stand at the back. I just recently printed out a bunch of pictures from my phone at Walmart for such an affordable price as well. So now I have like hard copies of my photos and I want to pick one and just frame it, maybe like a little family photo. I think that would be cute. So I thought I might as well pick that up since I printed out my pictures. And that's pretty much it. I feel like you can find absolutely anything at the thrift store. Sometimes when I go out to like look for something in particular at a decor store, I stop at the thrift store and I end up finding it. So it's just like a game of luck. You have to check out a bunch of different stores. This thrift haul is only from two stores in my area and they're not really like unique stores. They're just Valley Village or Salvation Army. So they're pretty mainstream big stores that, you know, always have donations coming in. So yeah, there's always new things to go through. You could pretty much go thrifting every single week. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video and got some ideas on how you could thrift your own home decor pieces. I can't wait to show you guys how I style these around the house or how I even flip them to make them into more of a unique custom piece. That's always really fun as well. So if you enjoyed watching this huge thrift haul, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And let me know down below what your favorite piece from this whole haul was. I am like still really obsessed with this tiny little basket, but I'm also such a fan of this old chair and the lamp and the tray. So can't really decide. Let me know down below what item you would have bought at the thrift store as well. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more thrifting, shopping, room makeover, and home decor videos. Click the red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned on so you never miss an upcoming video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!